Hello YouTube, this is Live Forever and Die For Nothing doing a Lego review of sorts uh, where I talk about this particular very old uh, set that come out uh, just after the movie and I'll be showing you some of the upgrades I've made to it because it always bugged me as it didn't look movie accurate out of the box so, uh, one of the first things I altered was the chest in the movie, in the set. It had a 1x2 jumper plate with this lock in, and in the movie it looks like this with a gold piece and the lock to the side. Uh, so that was one of the first things I upgraded. The next was the exhaust here. It was on a one by two jumper plate with a bar and it stuck out to the side and this part was um, inverted so it's the other way around and this part was stuck on top so in the movie there's a gold piece there the bar is stuck there and that is upside down um, I wanted to keep that in the movie it doesn't actually attach so I've got this clear part to put it so it's just hovering over it at the top. Uh, the flag was the wrong way around in the instructions so that was an easy fix. Uh, the, the, these parts are in the instructions the opposite way around. Um, they're not movie accurate but the only way to get it movie accurate is getting a different technique piece, two different technique pieces that I don't have and changing this part entirely for uh, a, a vibrant red one uh, with a bar that comes up um, which I don't have and I don't want to I don't want to change the color of the red because I quite like it how it is so that's part of the keeping uh, the next thing I changed was uh, well I added was this part here um, and the movie does have a this particular piece on there um, the other thing is, you see on his arm there, this plate with the bar, um, that is from here. Uh, that's what the exhaust was sitting on. But in a certain shot in the movie, you can see as it's there's one of those there. There was there was a grey plate there, uh, and there isn't in the in the movie. There's a YouTuber called Hex Rifts. They did a video series on how to get a near perfect, uh, near ac uh, movie accurate metal beard. So uh, that was an easy fix because we already had the part. Uh, it's quite difficult to get on because you are slightly bending it to get it to fit. So just a warning: there is Lego destruction in this video. Uh, the other easy fix uh, is this uh, finger thumb. Part here, uh, the set says there needs to be a silver piece, one of these silver pieces on, and there isn't. Um, it's supposed to be in the center of this bar down here, but I moved it to the side to make it more hand like. Um, I added in uh, oh. Sorry about that. I added in this piece here uh, because I had an extra one, and this is where some more Lego destruction has come into pass. So these chains are normally five links. Um, so I got quite a few and cut them up and linked them all together because they're supposed to be a big long chain, and the only well, it's supposed to have at least 21 links in it. This has got about 20 in it. Um, but uh, the only other ones that are like a dark grey and not shiny. And in the film they're shiny. So I cut a bunch up and uh, stuck them together to create this chain. Because it didn't come in the set. Um, the other thing I've... Uh, Added quite a few pieces around the back. Let me just take 
that off. Make it a bit easier. Right. So in the back, I'll lay the figure down. Um, in the movie, uh, this is so these these pieces here and here in the set are brown, uh, grey. Uh, not movie accurate, so I've swapped those about. Hex wrist video explains how to do it. Uh, there's also a light tan piece. Let's. Sorry about that. The video cut off there. So there's a, a light tan piece uh, just in there that needed to be grey. Um, just. You can just see that part there. It was like a, a light tan piece. Also behind Metal Beer's head, there was a circular piece like that behind his head that needed to be a flat tile. Um, right, round the back again. In the hex wrist video, it says that this tile has to be connected to the back. He connected it a different way than me. Um, but I didn't have the parts he had, so I took the part out here and put these parts in. And also this piece here was altered as well. It had it originally it come with a clip, which didn't allow for movement. Um, so I replaced it for a light piece, and this uh, claw piece here. Uh, also down here. Uh, were two grey uh, one by two pieces that needed to be brown. Um, here there was a, a two by two slope uh, that needed to be a three. Um, in the set there was a chain connected to a, a anchor that went on the back of the leg but in the movie you can't actually see that. Um, Hex Riff video uh, tells you how to rebuild the leg to make that more movie accurate. Uh, these parts here were brown, um, and it's there's a, another part that's been t taken out and replaced, so it's more screen accurate. Uh, here, this plate isn't in the set, uh, so I'll put that on. Um, this brown piece uh, in the set is grey uh, as are these parts on this leg they are all a dark grey and needed to be replaced with black to make it more movie accurate here there was a 2 by 2 slope it was the same as this piece that went here but not movie accurate needed to be this particular shape Oh, something's fallen off. That's fallen off his foot. Um, the foot I've rebuilt and uh, made movie accurate. There's a scene where they're in the Octan Tower and he, t he transforms it into a photo photocopier and you do see the bottom of his foot, mm -hmm. as explained in Hexris video. So that was rebuilt. I'm, I believe that is the wrong colour. But it's the only one I've got. It should be uh, reddish brown, but it's a dark brown colour. Um, the other thing I did is mm. I replaced the. There was two bars that connected the cannons. Uh, this is off the um, the other the other part of the set. The um, I can't remember what they're called now. It's been that long since I watched the movie. But uh, in a Hexriff video, it says you need that. So it's uh, a claw piece that comes with it. So I took that out and then I rebuilt him. I uh, followed his instructions on how to make the extra uh, cannon or sight for this arm. So you needed one of these. Uh, a brown headlight and a uh, black bar with one of these 
pieces mm. uh, that shove through in there and attach like that. Also, in a certain scene in the film, this had a bunch of cannonballs on it. Um, the set, it tells you to put some uh, dark grey pieces on that fire from these, um, but not movie accurate. So uh, most of the scenes that I've rewatched, uh, it hasn't got any cannonballs on, so I've just left them blank. I'll just reattach this part to the back. So, this is as screen accurate as I can make it. Um, I'm quite happy with it now. I'm willing to put it back up on display because it's been in a box for for years. Uh, like I said, I've, um, I've chopped up a, a bunch of the silver chains to make it more screen accurate. I actually bought a junker set off uh, somebody off eBay to get the extra parts I needed to make the modifications. I'm really happy with it now and it also means that my old Lego Pirate has now got the Metal Beard face on it. Um, so now Metal Beard has his minifigure body uh, from the earlier part in the film. I know the suit that they're wearing is inaccurate, but this is the original pirate uh, that I've just stuck his face on. I also got an extra minifigure in the set. Um, I reattach this. There we go. This is all complete. And the other thing I did. As I used some uh, craggle to um, glue this sword together because it keeps falling apart and it really, really did me head in. So I uh, used a bit of super glue and glued his sword together so now it doesn't fall apart. So there you go. There's my uh, near perfect movie accurate metal beard I'm being put back up on the shelf in the new bot cave. Nothing to do with Transformers, but hey ho, there you go.